this morning we do have some new information to give you. The severe thunderstorm watch that was just up against the Alabama Georgia border is now been extended into areas a little bit closer to I-65. So it includes Blunt County, Aniana, the city of Pell City, also around Talladega, Lincoln, Aniston, Southside, and Gadsden. This goes until 9 o'clock this morning, so it's 548. So the next three, three and a half hours, there's a line of storms right now on our WBTM 13 live Doppler that's impacting areas of Cherokee County Center. A couple of advisories have been issued, but there are no warnings at the moment right now in central Alabama, and this is all real time information. So if anything changes minute by minute, we're going to see it. We have our radar there positioned in advance. Zooming in a little closer, I wanted to show you because this is all in real time. I wanted to show you just a few spotty showers around Hoover and Pelham and Lake Purdy. So they've been lingering around Shelby County just to give you a heads up. There is so much humidity and instability in the atmosphere. When we get that sunshine cranking, it's going to really start to impact some areas later in the afternoon. This is round one. These are the morning storms. It looks like they are traveling more due south, but areas in East Alabama have the potential to see some of these storms. Now there's storms out to our west too in mid Mississippi, closer to French camp, headed for Jackson, Mississippi, potentially Meridian, but the general motion right there does not show it's going to be impacting our West Alabama counties. As far as our planner for today, we don't see a whole lot of rain in the forecast until we get towards later in the afternoon, especially for areas right along I-65 because we have a couple of weather features on the outskirts of our state. But between 4 and 7, I think that's when we need to be on the weather watch for downtown Birmingham and surrounding counties. The risk for strong storms is slight, so it is on the lower end of the scale. But nonetheless, we expect to see some damaging winds within these isolated thunderstorms. The potential for hail, tornadoes and flash floodings is rather low because we see some movement. So it's 80 right now in Birmingham, 77 in Tuscaloosa. That's a live shot of Tuscaloosa expecting to see those stronger storms for you between about 6 and 9 p.m. tonight. Today is your impact day. Severe weather day for Saturday heading into Sunday. A lot less rain chances. Then our weather feature changes a little bit for your work week and we look at a good amount of rain, maybe some soaking rain for most of your work week next week. So today on the weather watch, we're going to talk a little bit more about this coming up after the break. So uh, be sure to stay right here.